there are many notions about the scales of Judgment Day and you know, typically we picture something simple in our minds like every person is going to stand on Judgment Day and every person is going to have their own kind of a weighing thing in front of them, a scale and there's going to be bad deeds on the one side and good deeds on the other side and whichever one ends up weighing more is where a person is going to end up. If their good deeds are heavier, then they're going to go into heaven. If their bad deeds are heavier, they're going to go into hell. But the Qur'an actually paints a much more complicated picture than that simple image to help us understand what's actually going to happen on Judgment Day, how our deeds are going to be weighed, and what that means for us right now. He says, وَالْوَزْنُ يَوْمَئِذٍ الحق. The scale on that day and the measurement on that day is actually truthful, is accurate. The first thing that means is it's real. Don't think that Judgment Day is not going to happen. Al-Haq could mean al haqiqa in its reality. So don't doubt it. But the other meaning of Al-Haq is actually that it's accurate, and that it's precise, and that it's also justified. Haq is also, you know, haqqun laha, for, for something as rightful of it. Allah is almost saying, all the scales we have right now are not accurate. And all the judgments we have right now have some degree of inaccuracy. Even our messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, people came to him with a dispute, and one person came and made their case and said, here are my reasons why I think I'm right. And he spoke and gave his ideas and his evidences very clearly. The other person was not very well spoken, he was shy, he was nervous. And it makes it look like one person had a really good case and the other person didn't have a good case. The same thing happens today in a courtroom. Somebody can get a really good lawyer and somebody can get a terrible lawyer and it looks like the good lawyer has a better case. But justice is not the same as the one speaking. If you spoke well or you made a good case, that doesn't mean you are more rightful or you're more true. Justice is something else entirely. Right? So even the Messenger والسلام, said that even if he were to pass a verdict right now, don't think you've escaped Allah's judgment. That's something else. That's a different set of standards. Because Allah Azza wa Jalla knows realities far beyond what we can know. The same is true even of the laws of Islam. The laws of Islam are better than any other law because it's the law given by Allah Azza wa Jalla. But at the same time, the law of Allah can also be misused. The law of Allah can be manipulated. Somebody, for example, can be given a punishment in Islam because they're found guilty. But because they were found guilty in the court of law, maybe the evidences presented were corrupt evidences, they were faked, they were false testimonies, there could be all kinds of things that took place, corrupt things that took place. At the end of the day, Sharia was established, the law was executed, but as a matter of fact, justice was not served. So just because the law is served, justice isn't necessarily served. And you know, in, in courtrooms all over the world, or when we think of the image of justice, all over the world you find the image of a scale, a balanced scale, and some blind lady holding it, right? Because the idea is you're not, the, the, the justice isn't biased, and we have to weigh things out equally. But when Allah says on that day, scales are going to be actually justified, what Allah is telling us is, no matter how much we try to make judgments in this world, the judgments of this world are limited. They are imperfect and they're not complete. It is only on that day that judgment is going to be in its absolute sense.